Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your agenda free news. This is Jerome Hughes, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So it's been reported before that Ezra Miller's The Flash undergoes massive rewrites. Okay, so David Zaslav, he's confident in it still, but at the same time, it's still undergoing major rewrites. All right, so he said that The Flash is one of the movies they've seen and they like, but he also said that they can make it better. Okay, so he's confident in it, but he believes they can make it better. Okay, so it's during the time where he also announced that DC Films is focused on theatrical release for his movies, moving away from the HBO Max pro projects. Okay, and this includes upcoming movies like Black Adam and Shazam Fear of the Gods. All right, all right so... They still got the whole 10 year plan going on and everything, okay? So the movie's still go undergoing massive script rewrites and also the very reasons are that they're still picking up the scenes. Even Ezra Miller has been attending the scheduled reshoots as planned, okay? So that's good for him, all right? So it's going under like basically major renovations, reshoots where David Zaslav wants it to be better. And the 10 year plan is still in, in on the drawing boards where it seems like the studio is looking to align what it can while they still have time. Okay. But right now the release date for the flash is still June 23rd, 2023. So they don't have enough time. They got a lot of work to put together, or I'm guessing that this has been, is being done a long time ago and they're just not reporting it. Who knows? Okay. This is how basically at, um, Hollywood um, works. So it's also it says here that the movie will show the rest of the just will it actually show the um, rest of the Justice League. It says here that Gal Gadot, will she be Wonder Woman again? Are they going to have um, Henry Cavill Superman in it? Are they going to have Ray Fisher Cyborg in it? And then there's also rumors where about a post credit scene where it talks about Bruce Wayne played by Ben Affleck is reaching back out to um the flash um for extra help for help and and everything to save them for danger okay so this comes like like right after um like actually not i'm not gonna say that but this is also stated where ray fisher um vowing that he would not return for the DC projects while Walter Hamada is still in the company but anything could happen you know Walter Hamada is on his way out um, Zaslav's looking for a, re a replacement, so we may just well have um Ray Fisher back as Cyborg. But getting on to the newer news, the director of the Flash said that Ezra Miller requires intervention. So this is, of course, based on the off-screen and um public news updates where Ezra Miller's behavior came into the light. Okay, so Miller has been on the news several months regarding to questionable behavior from harassment, disorderly conduct, burglary, and grooming mi minors, okay? But The Flash is not the only film as Miller took part in that is up for release. Miller also appeared in what's called Dolly Land, where um, it focuses on the painter Dolly, on the painter Dolly. And also, production um, initially assigned Miller to play the entire prominent role in the film. But because of conflicts um, between filming of Fantastic Beasts and Dolly Land, Miller had to turn down the role. Okay, so R Miller may be recast into another role for flashback sequences. All right, so it says here um, that. Uh, yeah. They discuss here that um he was working with um Heron, okay? Trying to find um where it talks about who Heron is or Haran. Yeah, Mary Haran. She's the direct, I believe she's the director of The Flash, okay? So she no. She's directing the movie Dolly Land. Excuse me. So she's the director of the movie Dolly Land. And she says here, um, based on the on like according to like when she talked about the issues that he's been having, she said that the film was completely finished and wrapped, and it might not have it might have been different, especially if we were shooting. If it had been for, if it if there had been bad behavior during that, but all this happened after the film was not only filmed, but edited and mixed and done. I also felt like everybody shot all those things in good faith. Nothing bad happened during our filming and the film is the film. 
Okay, so it wrapped back up in filming back in May 2021, which is last year. Now, Ezra Miller's issues emerged back since April 2020 at the height at the start of the pandemic in the U.S. With a choking incident with a fan, but it wasn't an, it was not an isolated case, it says here. And no one would have guessed that there would be a more a couple years down the line. All right, so Miller was also working on a number of projects like The Flash, Dolly Land, Fantastic Beasts. And his Miller's issues only escalated, escalated starting from March 2022 with harassment and disorderly conduct, as well as grooming um, reports and child, into child mildness to child manipulation. All right. So the director of um dolly land also said i'm not condoning anything miller done wrong i think it doesn't matter how talented um someone is if anyone done anything wrong they have to face it also i think it's clearly that clearly is it, this is not just a young star acting out this is much more serious it seems like something that needs a serious intervention which i hope has happened okay so we all know that um supposedly Miller came forward with the um a public apology from um it came from the publicist, okay? Miller apologized, says that um he's going to seek help. And um Miller's also going to be taking a bit of a backseat stance and everything when it comes to promoting the movie. But um let me know your thoughts about this whole thing with DC films and Ezra Miller, okay? What are your thoughts about it? Also, if I went wrong and went in the video, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't, for don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the things that I share with you today. And also <clears throat> share with you, share with everywhere. And also, if you ever done so and you enjoy all the content I put out there, please um click the subscribe button and also put, um click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.